live. Hello. 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 Why are we playing hardcore? Because <laughs> it's good. Ugh, that sucks. Whatever. So, hi, people. Just don't kill your team, your teammates. I'm gonna kill you. Um, we're alive. We're alive. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Janice. This is Danny. And today, we're just gonna talk about Hillsong College while we <laughs> kill people. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fitting. It's only fitting. Ooh. Let's wait till this loadout screen. I don't like this map. Uh, me neither. So, we are Hillsong Sydney students. Not Phoenix, Sydney. So we're here in Australia, and we are first first. Meaning... For second now. Well, you're right, first second. But we <laughs> just started in July. So, we'll just start with... Danny, what stream are you in? Uh, I'm pastoral. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Because I'm eating a candy. Oh, okay. I am pastoral too. Woohoo! Um, and then another thing that people always ask is like, what is the pastoral stream like, and is it only for pastors? No. <laughs> I've yet to see an enemy. So it's not only for pastors. So then who, like, who would do the pastoral stream? Like, why would they do that? Um, it's not, was it, who's the one that talk, was talking about, it was like, so I'm gonna take the candy out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> I think it was Ben. Ben was talking about um, that there's like a lot of like um, different pastoral positions now versus like what you would think of back in the you know let's say like 30 years ago where like a pastoral position was literally just the pastor and that's it. Yeah, you're right. And then you have, I like, think Lee talks about it a lot too. And I think all of our trainers talk about it too. Like this is not just for like pastors. A pastor of a church. Yeah, a pastor of a church. Like literally a business person uh, could come and vent. What? My God, I'm not enjoying this game. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but basically, like anyone could could really do this. Like we do learn a lot of. Um, like leadership things that if I one day didn't want to be a, like a pastor like my time oh, oh my god this guy's camping let's just go to the next question <laughs> so what is core 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 like bro our core oh it's cause there's like a lot of things you can well, our core is a group of people that kind of do college with you, and you have these things called tutorial. Um, yes, we do. Once That's a week. That's the worst game ever. And once a week, you meet up with your core, and you discuss the things that you've learned in your big past classes. Past weeks, yep, yep, big classes, and you get to have community with people, and you get to friend people and you get to kind of like do, do the basically college life alongside yeah so like your, your core is like like you're my core yep. so Hillsong College is actually pretty pretty big I don't think I thought it was gonna I don't think I thought that don't make any sense I did <laughs> not <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think that I thought I didn't thought no. that I think <laughs> Look, I, I didn't, didn't think, think it was that... gonna be that big. <laughs> I it. didn't think college was gonna be that big. It was so many people. Like some of your classes uh, are mixed with the other streams, like worship and dance and TV, like your main classes. Um, so there's like people that I was meeting like when the school year was about to finish, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was like, "I've never seen you before. Like, who are you?" So. <laughs> I'm serious. So I really like core because like it's a small group of people and you like I don't know they intend it for you guys to become family 
and for you guys to just uh oh and another thing about core you get with your age group <laughs> sometimes sometimes for us it's true yes but like they're they would never i'm 25 and daniel if you want to say your age you could say your age but um <laughs> he's like mm. 31. <laughs> okay 31 see good man and um yeah they would not put us with 18 year olds nothing wrong with the 18 year olds but we're just on different levels in different life. parts of life <laughs> We are. We really are. So then, what are I mean, assessments? Honestly, like you're oh. just like you're in a different stage of life than like eighteen-year-olds. Especially yeah. like for me, like I'm not saying that I can't learn anything from eighteen-year-olds because I have and I will always learn from them. But someone compared, like eighteen-year-old compared to me, like we have different life experiences. Yes, exactly. So then, so, yeah, so the 18 year olds and 19, 20, whatever, the the younger crowd. Uh, ah, oh, my God, I'm not liking this hardcore thing that we're doing. Anyways, um, basically, you stick with your age and it's great because um, you're just more relatable with the people that you're with. So cool. Um, so what are assessments? <clears throat> assessments are what the name entails. They are tests to <laughs> test the competency of <laughs> your learning experience in college and whether you are being marked as competent, as in a you're a okay, or you're not com not yet competent, meaning that you're not there yet, but you will soon. Just fix this stuff. Oh my God. So, so that it's means like, it's not like regular school or college where yes. you have an actual grade. Though you can if you want to choose degree. And degree um, here at Tilson College, it's more of an academic setting where you have yes. actual grades. A B C D. E, uh, F, G. I think yeah, they do have that. <laughs> um, it's just very, very, very difficult to get A's. So if you're like one of those A students, um, you're probably not going to get an A in Australia ever. Really? Why? Yep. It, they're called HDs, high distinctions. Those are very like rare. Like basically, people who are like geniuses pretty much get high distinctions. Okay. Well, I won't get one. See, how do I know if I killed them or not? Bro, we're not doing hardcore next round. This sucks. No. I, I'm sucking right now. Just hit your shots. <sighs> Anyways. That's all you gotta do. Like, cause as easily as they can kill you, you can easily kill somebody. So you just need to be like, mindful of that. I don't even know who shot me right now. Alright. But, so assessments, uh, like you touched on it, we have like, a joke. With like, not yet competent or comp- Stupid idiot. Say confident. Or competent. No, I was trying to say competent, but someone killed me in the middle of this. So I was like, comp. Stupid people. I don't like this game. And, um. So. Uh. Have you ever gotten a NYC? The first time I got an NYC, I was so hurt. <laughs> uh. I think I got one that's because I didn't read one of the questions carefully. Yes. It was like one of the last assessments because I was. I killed someone. Getting lazy. Um. I got an NYC on New Testament and I was like, I am a failure. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. But I fixed it. You get an NYC, they give you feedback and they tell you, like, why they marked you not yet competent. And then you just kind of competent. Com I, I swear, I, I, it sounds like you're saying confident. I'm you're not yet confident. <laughs> well, I mean that could work too. You're not it's yet not confident, confident in the <laughs> in the area. Is this a door? Yeah. Um, competent. Com competent. 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 It's competent. like, oh wait, what was that word you would say? Mm, in that, regards. Like, People say people say you say the word funny. Oh, I say a lot of words funny. Like I have like speech problems. Like it's not even something I'm trying oh, to hide anymore. What was anymore. it? 
It was that one main word you told me about. It starts with a C? I don't remember. I don't I really don't remember. You just said, yeah, there's this one word that everyone tells me I'm just saying it wrong. Oh, I said that because there's more than one word that everyone says it's, it's wrong. I don't know, like, I don't know. I'm not good with words. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Moses was still called, right? <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about college housing. Oh, because me and you are going to have two totally different things to say about this right now. Oh! Bastard. So, I live five minutes away from campus, walking distance. Uh, Danny, you want to talk about your college housing experience? Yeah, I live 20 minutes from walking. I thought it was 30. No, it's 20 minutes. Oh, so you learned how to walk 20, faster? 22 minutes. No, I've never taken, taken that long. Hmm. I've never taken 30 minutes to walk. Well, uh, people usually tell me, so he lives in Glenwood, which the famous Glenwood, like, we pray for them, we salute them, we send them care packages, <laughs> and we love on them because they don't live close. I mean, technically, if you had a car, it's not bad to live in Glenwood. No, if you have a car, you're fine. It's not far. But, uh, we don't have cars. We're college students and we're broke. So, I, so, look, clearly, girls get put with girls, boys get put with boys. Except that one um, time with Prabhu. Oh my god, yeah! Tell the story, tell the story. This is actually really funny. Do you know well, the story? Long story short, college made a mistake and they put, uh, one of our guys from CORE that came in ver uh, late because of his visa. They put him in with a girl housing, and he was just chilling, sitting in this living room because nobody was home, and girls started showing up, and they freaked out and got scared. And... I would, I would be so freaked out if I came home and saw a random guy sitting on my couch. I'd be like, "Hi." Be like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> I'd be like, uh... "Of course, it's different with you know women. I'm assuming." Yeah. It's like a guy if, if a guy comes room. home and sees a girl on the couch, she'd be like, "Oh, hey, are you are you here for someone?" <laughs> Girls would be like, "Ah!" <laughs> yeah, they would still be freaked out, but I would just be like, "Oh, you're here for somebody, one of my housemates, or something." Yeah, oh, we love guys. They don't freak out for anything, huh? But, um, yeah. So college housing, you're crunching on something. Candy. Um, Mexican candy. Interesting. I've never had Mexican candy. Uh, for the love of Jesus Christ, our Savior, can we not do hardcore right no. now? Okay. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> okay. You just. I'm telling you. I'm just what not good at this. What gun? What gun are you using? I don't even know. I don't know. Use an M4. An M4. Uh, use an M. Use an M4. Uh, what section is that in? It's an assault oh. rifle. It's a well-balanced gun. You, two shots, or use an Odin. Use an Odin if you have an if you have unlocked. What level are you? Wait, I am Six. using an M4. Use an Odin. An Odin? How's an Odin? No, I can't. It's locked. Oh. Whatever. So, um, <clears throat> I love my housemates. I got blessed with amazing housemates that we all get along. We're all practically the same Enneagram. So we're super chill. We're nines. We don't bother each other. And we became family and we love each other. But there are some horror, st horror, 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 There are some horror stories of people getting like roommates that they don't like. I share a room. This is my college housing right now. I was sharing a room, uh, a bed, no, I wasn't sharing a bed, no. sharing a room <laughs> with a girl named Blair. She's awesome, but she just left me to go back she home. Left. She said, bye. She's getting married. She's, she's from, like deuces. yeah, she's like going back to my man. I would go back to my man too, if I had one. 
and now wooden. And I'm kidding. <laughs> but she finished her time in college, so she went back home to Canada. So right now, I don't have anyone in my room, but uh, in the start of... Ooh, why is Anita writing us? In the start of next semester, we will have another girl in here. But I thought, like, I was living by myself before I came here. And I was like, how am I going to share a house with, like, five, six other girls? Like, I am not, like, good with that. I My house was is, able like, to... what were you able to do? What? I had that one really chill housemate. They're just super chill. Well, two, three of them left. Um... Three of them left, so... <sighs> but, we're talking about, like, while they were still there. Oh, no, yeah, they were super chill. At least mine were. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, they like, but messy, some people but... don't have that luxury. <laughs> House full of guys, like... I could imagine. <laughs> yeah. I could just imagine. Ugh. But, um... Yeah, I, I really, so, if you if you think you're not going to be able to handle, like, living with people, like, it's not that bad. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, I love my housemates. It was sad to see them go. They're on vacation right now. So, I'm, like, counting the days for them to come Did you back. you say one of them is, like, still there? Yeah, you know, one of my housemates is still here. Um, because she's leaving later than usual but like yeah so I I got super blessed with my housing in terms of location and uh people that I live with that guy's just camping there on top of the I got him okay got yeah him. uh to the point where I did not even like move out to a single bedroom because like let's like I love my house bro so like I sacrifice I'll have a roommate and technically, bro, when you get married, that's your roommate. So you gotta get used to sharing a room with someone. Not a sharing bed. Yeah, not a bed. <laughs> we don't share beds, but we share rooms. But that was that. So uh what does serving look like? Because I know I was confused on like how they would place us serving. Um, serving was just like. Ooh. So basically, like, you jump in when you have something to say. You get three different serving allocations, and it's sisterhood yeah, or. Well, no, because you have your sisterhood. No. Or manhood. Or girls. No, manhood. What no, is it girls, called? Oh. Girls have to, guys. You don't. What do you have? It's just two. You know why? I... You know why they put you like to they man they like make it mandatory for sisterhood because it's so big. It's so much larger than than uh, Hillsong men. So you're and telling it, me you and don't it serve? Uses the CC and like you all use the CC, so you need more hands on deck. So and us. You don't have something for for Hillsong men? No, we do. We just don't. You don't, you're not required to volunteer. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, ladies, I'm sorry. You get three, and I guess men get two. Um, you get your sisterhood. You get your assessed practicum, and your midweek practicum. Now let's talk about that, cause that was so confusing. I was like, what is assess practicum? What is midweek practicum? What is practicum? Why are you using the word practicum? And what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to do with my life? So your assess practicum, oop, I saw that. Your assess practicum usually pertains to the stream that you picked. So, for instance, um, <clears throat> pastoral. You could choose uh, young adults, training and education, 
pastoral care youth what is I feel like I'm missing something what else could you pick for pastoral yeah the practicum or like this the the stream the like the side stream or whatever you want to call it pastoral like your care. path your pathway your pathway yeah. pastoral care I think I, I said that, that. Well, okay, yeah. Youth, so, young adults, education, um, pastoral care. Pastoral care. Um, I there, feel there's, like there's several. There's yeah, several. Yeah, 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 there's things. Whatever you go to, like whatever, whatever you want to, what? Uh, tie in your pastoral training too. So, what did you pick? Uh, education and training. Did you really? Yeah. How come you don't have night school? Because I my practicum is in college. I'm in the college office. Hmm, I never knew that. So, um, yeah, I chose I young adults, and you chose training and education. Uh, know what you want to pick before you come, because literally, like, your first week here, they make you pick that. Um, and I wanted to talk about it, but the girl did not. Which so the girl? second, the girl who was like doing my paperwork, I wanted to have a discussion with her. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm thinking about young adults. And she went, click, young adults. Okay, done. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, I said, <laughs> thinking about it. I was like, I don't know. Like, cause I kind of feel like I want to do pastoral care or training in education. And then she just kind of looked at me like, we're not about to have this conversation. Um, <clears throat> and I was like, okay, yeah. So you, you allowed her to make a decision for you? I allowed her to make a decision for me. But just that FYI was... for those listening, <laughs> you don't have to be, you don't have to do what Janice did. You don't have to do what I did. She Fight. allowed, she allowed someone. <laughs> Fight just, for what you want. You just go, <laughs> no, I don't think it's even fighting because you're not really fighting. You're just... <clears throat> I don't think you even fought, like... I didn't I fight. Think you, I think you just said, like, oh, I'm I, gonna, yeah, I wanna, I'm thinking about young adults. All right, fine, young adults, and you're just like, oh, oh okay. I, like I you, was, just, you just sat back and took it. And I, like, oh, and okay. that, that is something that college has been working on me with. Um, uh, no, honestly, like, I have realized about myself. Before I came, I was a very, like, take whatever life gives you type stuff but that's why i said pastoral is more than just for pastors because like i've learned like just normal leadership skills like you know healthy confrontation like sticking up <laughs> healthy <sighs> confrontation, healthy <laughs> confrontation. <laughs> the basis of confrontation should always be love <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing at me, but it should you always know be. La <laughs> you know why? Just don't have any more. Um, yeah. Bad yeah, bro. Okay, so the basis. <laughs> that dream was scary. Um. Yeah, bro. Anyways, so you have you serve in your sisterhood, or I guess you don't serve in menhood. You have your. It's assess. I don't know. I'm not a man. Men. I'm not a man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man is really bad. Manhood, like it just manhood like, is like manhood. something like insinuating something. So let's not use manhood. Just say okay. Hillsong men. <laughs> okay, Hillsong, Hillsong men. men, and then sisterhood. <laughs> there you go. Um, then you have your assess practicum, which usually pertains to, like that's the one that you get graded on, like the one that quote unquote matters. But everything matters, ladies and gentlemen. Everything matters, in the eyes of God. But <clears throat> this is where you get graded in school. So I was put in front line because front line is young adults. And Danny was put in college. College, because that was training and education. education. And I just died. Um, and then you have your midweek, which I don't even know how they place you in that, <clears throat> to be honest. That, that really doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter, but I hope there, that you care just, about it. No, 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 like, I meant, it doesn't matter, as in it's not used, it's not used to, like, in regards to your stream or pathway you chose. Yeah, like, it's, it's probably not going to pertain to anything. 
Yes. If anything, so, it's it. Well, it's it, it's important for character development. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly that. Because I, and let me tell you what college did to me. What beautiful college did to me. I was. Are we playing against potatoes? Potatoes. Sorry. Ah, yeah. my god! I guess so because I'm killing them. Oh, never mind. I died. So I got placed in college logistics. And I thought that sounded so cool. I was like, yeah, bro, I love, like, logistics. Like, I'm so logical, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I thought it was going to be something else. And when I met with my leader, it was just chairs team. So I just move chairs. And it is physically demanding. I am the only girl on the team. And right. at first, I hated my life. Because I was like, bro, they clearly, like, do they even know me? Like, my knees ain't cut out for this. Like, I cannot do this. And, but it ended up being a very fun team. Uh, be careful what you pray for. Honestly, because, like, I was praying, like, oh my god, yeah, god, like, I want to, like, be fit. Yeah. Yeah. I got a team to help me with that. Um... Yo, I am playing so good right now. I just, I cannot. See, I tell you, hardcore is good. You just need to know how to play it, like, well. Uh oh. Ah! Like, basically, you don't have to empty out your clip. Damn it. Oh, I just died. Well, I think I went 8 and 0, or 9 and 0. So, um. Whatchamacallit? Can't answer that right now. So. Yeah, and then they ended up pl uh, play placing me the leader of the team, and I was just like, oh, bro, like, I was going to leave this team the second I had the chance, <laughs> and now I am the leader, um, but it's definitely, it's it's been a place where I could practice, like, leadership, and um, practice leading men. Like, I kind of, like, struggled with that for a moment. I was just like, why would you put a girl in charge of, like, a man's team? Um, I don't think it's, like, a man's team. But, like, um, this is, like, come on. Like, you got to talk about the TBTU. Maybe and... you said, like, a f the physically demanding team. Oh, you just died in front of my face. I'm going to take your gold gun. You, oh, I died trying to take your gold gun. Whatever, so... You're probably not gonna like that team. To, like, your midweek team. Because it's not really gonna pertain to what you came to college for. But, um... In reality, well, we're just serving. Oh god, huh? Because the, the midweek, literally all it is, is just to serve Hillsong. Yeah. In any way that you can. Any way, exactly. any single way, and it has nothing to do with what you want to do later on. It's just serving. So, exactly. Just so serving. some people have like problems with that because they're like, "Oh, I came here to." Yeah, I don't know. I don't do know why this. they would have problems with it. It's just character development. It's exactly. Serving. You do a lot All of character it. development here in Elk College. Like they put me at the table and I'm cooking. <laughs> I haven't really cooked now. Yes, so I'm in front oh, line. I killed you. That was accident. you, you <laughs> idiot. I was like, I didn't even. I was like, I'm not even gonna look at the kill cam. Like you're. It's... You can't. There's no kill cam. Oh. Ooh, I don't know how I just killed that guy. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, like I'm front line, young adults, and I promise you, I don't do anything with young adults. I just cook. <laughs> <laughs> And at first, it was frustrating, but now, I know how to cook. Boom. Ready for, ready to be married, you know? Look at Hillsong, preparing me for <laughs> all, all aspects of life. <laughs> um, also, for sisterhood, I got put in hospitality. I thought I was going to hate my life, because I was like, oh my god, like, why are you putting me with food? Everything is food, food, food. Like, I'm not even a foodie. And... Now you are. Now I am, and I get fed in hospitality, like I eat everything, I'm like trying new things, I'm a picky eater, I'm like, oh, stupid.
idiot. Out here trying new foods and stuff. So, yeah, bro. Whatever. That's serving. Um, so, do you have time to work? So, like, what does our schedule look like? Um, on first, first year, first semester. Well, actually, first year, you have Fridays off. So, Monday through Thursday. Ooh. Some yes. Classes, some classes. Um, the latest class, I don't know if it, I mean, it was probably changes every every semester, to be honest. Mm, no, but, but the first, first. The class that we had was 5 p.m. That was only e one day. Yeah, on win on day. Wednesday. I don't think that changes to be honest, because uh the second year is in my house. Uh, when I was talking about how Wednesday is like my worst day, because it's the earliest and the latest, and they were like, "Oh yeah, we hated Wednesday last year too." So I think it stays like Maybe. pretty consistent because we also like our timetable goes in regards to like college Margin. i mean hillsong schedule too so like oh my god i'm getting wrecked so much me too because you want to do this damn hardcore crap um what were you saying time tables yeah whatever no, uh, let's just do the next question because i don't know what i was saying uh <laughs> the six month dating rule yeah buddy <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, is that real? Can someone uh, go against it? What does it really of mean? Of course you can go against it. But what but does that mean? mean? That shows your character. It's like, it's Ooh, like character. I know, it's exactly what I'm just saying. It's like, like sinning. Of course you can choose to sin. Oh, I so, love this. Of course you can choose to disobey. Oh, I think I got the last kill. But... Rules and set, just so you can basically have time to find yourself. Look at me, look at me, look I at mean, me, look all... at me. Two shots, there you go. Oh, that was more than two, but whatever. Um, it's basically in the rules set in place, so that way you're... It's not trying to sound all new age and stuff, but like... Focusing. Just... Find, not necessarily find yourself, but instead of saying find yourself, basically find your identity and who you are in Christ. Um, yes. And it does take a while. If you're going from one country to another, you're going to need that. And yes. And you don't want to have dating while that happens, because I'm pretty sure it gets messy. Messy. So, yeah, that's why they uh, really enforce that. I mean, like what I said choose to ignore it and do it anyways but you're gonna be in for a world of pain and if they find out about it then they'll sit you down and talk to you and stuff healthy confrontation now you can like let's say like the dating rule is within college so if you have a significant other outside of college it doesn't like you don't have to break up with them to come to school <laughs> <laughs> don't break up with I'm, your person. <laughs> I'm breaking up. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't break up with them and tell them I'll like date you again in six months. It pertains between college students. Um, yeah. So please don't do that. Please don't start chaos in your relationship. Um. Okay. So, is someone too young or too old to do college? No, uh, that one I can actually answer pretty well because since like about college, mm -hmm. um, the youngest you can be is 17, but that's with the special circumstances. Yes. Me meaning in the sense that you finish high school early. High school already, yeah. Because I yeah. graduated at 17. Yeah, exactly. So if you finish high school early. Uh, there are exceptions to that rule. For the yes. most part, it's, you know, 18, obviously, because you have older people and college and, you know, safe church and oh. very big on child safety. And yes, yes, they you're are. still considered a child if you're 17. Yes, you law. are. 
Yes, you are, little girl. <laughs> mm. Keep dying. <clears throat> oh. Uh, and then is somebody too old? Absolutely no, not. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, look at look at uh, Paywin. Yeah, like we have people in our court. We have look, we have married people. Uh, we have a a lady who has a a three year old son. So we got moms up in here. We have dads up in here. We have that uh that beautiful married couple that just spoke at graduation from Africa that they had to wait it's like seventeen years for their visa oh to come. Gosh. Are you? Oh my gosh! And did I say the wrong information? No, I meant like this. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't there in graduation anyway. Oh, yeah, they talk about her a lot. They talk about her a lot. Her and her husband had to wait 17... Oh, oh that guy came out of nowhere. 17 years just to get their visa to come. Um, so they're definitely an older couple. Um, and they just graduated. So that was super, like, eye-opening of, like, what people sacrificed to come here. Um, because they just want to be here which is crazy so no matter what age you are you will find people in your same walk of life whether it's age or even preferences like oh why did i just switch guns and that was that so what is the difference between like australia and where you're from so like I'm from Miami, Florida, which is in America. And Danny, you are from <clears throat> McAllen, Texas. And which is in America. <laughs> which yeah, it's South Texas. Funny because every time I say South Texas, everyone thinks San Antonio. I would think that which too. Which is literally not South. That is Middle Texas. Like literally, I think San Antonio is literally like the most central city Oof. in Texas. I'm literally... Is so, it really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's about four and a half hours from McAllen, from San Antonio. So it's not... Mm, I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, My I've been advice... way too many times. Well, nobody told you to pick this. Nobody. I don't like this map. I like this map. Oh. But, anyways, so we're both American. So what have you noticed... The different ah! the differences between Australia and like where you're from. Um, culture. Culture is a lot of different cultures. So Australia is just a representation of multi multitudes of culture. But me from Miami, I was used to that. Yeah, but there's way more culture in yeah. Sydney than Miami. Like, you h literally have hundreds of countries represented in Sydney. Yes. Hundreds. And, and do you think that's because Miami, of college? Or? That might be like... No, obviously not. You have people within the city that are just like... You have people from, like, Asia. You have people from... Oh like, my god, when I landed here... Legit. Not even being exaggerate. When I landed in exaggerate. Sydney... Exaggerate. Okay. Ex Whatever, man, bro. Come on. Um, <laughs> uh, I was like, am I in Australia or am I? Did I land in like an Asian country? Because that's all I saw. Asians. Asians. And I was like, oh. I was like, where am I? Yep. There's like a. There's like people from Asia, from the Middle East. Yep. Um, and I love the Asians. And then I saw JD, and I was like, oh, bro, yeah, I'm in Sydney. <laughs> you saw JD, and you're like, bro. I was like, bro, like, if that ain't Sydney. <clears throat> and, like, he was kind of looking at me weird, too, because, like, I had, like, my Hillsong College. What? Uh, when was this? It's when I landed. So I had on, I bought... In the airport, you saw him. Yeah, he landed the same day I landed. Oh, really? Yeah, so I saw him, like, I guess waiting for his ride. And I was waiting in the area of where, like, they pick you up, where they told me, like, by the McDonald's. Okay. And I'm waiting there, and he kept looking at me because I had, like, my Hillsong College merch. But, like, I bought yeah. it before I left so that 
I have this like fear of like getting lost. <laughs> kind of. So I was just like, I want to wear the merch so that whoever needs to pick me up sees me and they're like, look at this poor girl. Like, it's her. It's her. Um. So he was kind of looking at me like, oh, like, new student. <laughs> but we're not supposed to like, I don't want to say bother them, but we're not supposed to like, oh my god, it's so and so. We're not supposed to do that to anybody, period. Yeah, if like... If you're a Christian, you're not supposed to do that to anyone. Exactly. Anywhere, even your own home church. Or, I don't yep. know. Like, it's I've just like... I've never done it, because it's... Oh my gosh, this guy's literally camping at the same place. I'm not gonna play this game. Yes, they are not celebrities. Let me tell you something. I see Teo walking around everywhere. Um... Sorry, um, I, did I just take you with me? Yes, you did. did. It's fine. Uh, I see Taya walking everywhere, JD everywhere, like, Bobby walking everywhere, and like, so whatever, bro. They're humans. I'm a human. We're both humans. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> that's, that's always been, like, my biggest thing. Yeah. I think even, like, I think ever since I became a Christian, I've just always, I've always seen it as, like, I don't know, it just seems wrong. It does. Yeah. I mean, I could understand. It seems wrong to freak if... out about somebody. It's like, why? Yes. They're just people. I think there's a difference between, like, admiring them because I live in a house, uh, where everyone's in the worship stream, so they admire them. Like, those are people that they look up to because clearly, <clears throat> like, I. I'm not a worship person, so like I don't look up to Taya for absolutely anything because I just I'm not worship, so I'm just like you're a cool girl, like you could really sing, but like for my housemates, they're just like she's amazing and this and this and this and this, so like they respect her, but when they see her, they don't go crazy over her, they just have like a respect for her, which like I guess if I saw like I don't know a pastor I really respected. Like, when I see Bobby, I'm like, oh, wow, like, look at that woman of God walking. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I'm not, like, running up to them and like, oh, my God, can I go get, like, a coffee with you? Because you're amazing. You just kind of, like, have that moment where you're like, oh, that's that person that I really respect and I value. And, like, I look up to them. Um, yeah, so... Uh, dude, let's 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 help the Americans out because they need to know a few things when they get here. Number one, say goodbye to AC. You're not gonna use it here. <laughs> I don't care Why? how I don't know about your house, but in this house, and I have another girl from Miami that in her first week here she went to the hospital. Dehydration, the sun killed her. And we're from Miami, so like we know hot. Please don't like, say that. I mean, she didn't die. Just for those that are listening. Die. She didn't die, bro. She went to the hospital for dehydration. <laughs> yeah, but you said exactly. it, it killed her. Oh, <laughs> dramatic. Let me be dramatic. It, the sun took her out for a little bit. <laughs> and she was but dehydrated. What do you mean by AC? Say goodbye to AC. Like, we do not turn on the AC here in this household for absolutely anything in the world. Because Why it not? brings your, first of all, the electricity here, like, uh, it's, expensive. It's, it isn't. You just, do your roommates not manage light well? Well, that might be it. we have a girl that we're going to have to probably do some healthy confrontation soon. Um, that, that's why it's expensive. Just like FYI, though. Uh, she sleeps with the lights on. She never turns off her light. That's what I'm saying. But still, like, electricity here. Why do I say it like that? Electricity? Electricity. Electricity here is friggin' insane. It's expensive. So we get charged, like, every three months. There's five girls in this house, okay? Let's do the math here. There's five girls in this house, and we get billed for three months in one time. And we each got billed a hundred and twenty eight dollars. Hundred and twenty eight dollars? Yeah, a hundred and twenty eight. 
Oh, I just got charged 90. And seven of us. <gasps> oh my god. The men know how to be more efficient than the women? <clears throat> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Someone in the house, or probably not someone, it's probably multiple people in your house don't know how to manage Whoa. electricity well. I come from Hispanic background that you get you get knocked out if they see you with unnecessary lights on. <laughs> Um, so I'm very like, turn the light off, turn the light off, turn the light off. Um, but we do have, we do have a girl who loves to sleep with the light on. But, uh, I guess so, she's probably one of the causes of your high electricity bill. Ah, uh, yeah. I know, it sucks. So, also, no AC think, and no dryer. I think you don't have a central AC unit. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, a central AC unit means that there is an AC unit that is centralized to your house, so it flows in every single room of the house. But I know there's a lot of houses in Australia that have just a little wall AC, just like how Caleb and Nelly have it. Oh, that's all they have. no, 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 I think we do have central. I know we have AC because when we had the core parties here, like... Our, one of our housemates that had it at the house, she asked us in the group chat like if she could turn the AC on because it was getting hot. Um, and everyone else said yeah. So I know we have. We just never use it because it's like... And then people from other parts of the world are like... who aren't like AC fanatics, they like have no problem with it. Like it's usually the Americans that freak out. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a luxury, but... Yeah, so just be prepared if, if, to... Also, if you manage, it's because... Here's the thing, and... Uh, I feel like some people... Mm -hmm. Don't know... How AC works. Okay, let's have an AC class right now. So, I've... And obviously it's not a large number enough to make a general conclusion about people, but... My past roommates, like one from back home and some here, I think they think AC works like this. They get the AC and they put it as low as they can because they think that the lower you go, the colder the air gets, which is that very incorrect. Oh. That is not how AC works. AC works by setting a temperature at which the AC will turn on and off to maintain said temperature. So if you put it at, let's say, 23 degrees Celsius, your AC will blow air, cold air, consistently cold air, no matter what number you put it at, and it'll keep blowing that air until it reaches that said temperature that you set it at. And once it reaches that temperature, it turns off. And then it waits till it, you know, heats up again, and then after it heats up, passes that uh, threshold, and it kicks back on, and the AC starts working again. Wow. Yeah, um, so people Ladies and probably, gentlemen, <laughs> that is so AC. <laughs> so people probably do that, where they think that the lower that they... The lower they put it, the colder it is. Mm -hmm. Which is not true. Um, Interesting. Or, or, they'll put the temperature so low that they forget that the amount of heat that enters the house is far exceeding the rate at which the house is cooling. So the mm. AC ends up staying on the entire day. So you just need to know how to manage your AC. So if like... So ladies and gentlemen, Danny was a teacher. <laughs> if you're at home and it's hot and you're like, you know, maybe it's in the middle of the day, you know, turn your AC on, leave it on for maybe about like 40 minutes, an hour, turn it off, wait till it warms up again. And whenever you get hot again, like, oh, I can't bear it, then turn it back on. Because if not, the AC will stay on literally the whole day. Wow. 
Oh my god. It's so hard to explain something while playing competitively on Call of well, Duty. Well, you did it. Teacher award of the- Oh my god, so what did this guy just do not... to me? Rude. I might have not done a very good job at explaining though. Let me tell you something. I'm not an ACS expert. Expert? But... <laughs> I'm not an ACS expert. <laughs> I'm not an AC expert, but uh, I think now I could qualify as an AC expert because of your two minutes with Dan talk. So, good one. Very informative. But, my Americans, I'm sorry. You're probably going to live in a house with other girls or men who do not care about AC and don't understand why you want to have AC on. Um, so, yeah. Also, there's no dryers. Yeah, there is. I have a dryer. I don't have a dryer. <laughs> why? You can buy... It. Okay. Oh. I was legit going to buy a dryer, but I didn't want to be that American who, like... So, a common thing here in Australia is people dry their clothes, their clothes outside which I mean I've seen people in the States do that too it's not that like rare or like uncommon it's just more common here let me tell you something I was like we don't have a dryer <laughs> I would buy a dryer before I ever buy a car and I call um, a teammate sorry guy <laughs> Yeah, our housemates were totally like, yeah, we don't have a dryer. Like, whatever, what's the big deal? And I was like, what? <laughs> um, and I was gonna buy a dryer, but I didn't want to be that person who made the, the electricity go up because I'm too lazy to <clears throat> hang my clothes. Yeah. But yeah, I, I use the dryer that we have here at home, and I don't really use it, like... I... What I've learned to start doing is I, I dry my pants and my shorts since they're like thicker fabric. So that way I don't spend a lot of time drying in the dryer the, my pants. I just, I'm just drying my shirts and stuff. Um, That's thinner material, so it's, I don't use it as much. Yeah. Energy. Well, I'm happy that you use AC and dryer in this house we don't use ac or dryer so that was one thing that i literally had to <clears throat> cope and learn how to live without a dryer me and my dryer back home like we were like homies like when it was cold outside i would just put my blanket in the dryer just kind of like, ooh, little little warm up and then snuggle myself in it um yeah speaking of hold on i need to go do laundry turn off my ac because I had already had it on for a good while. For about Ladies like an and hour. gentlemen. And I'm getting my pants from outside that I left from last night or yesterday. You see, we dry our clothes inside because outside there's dangerous critters that my housemates were saying were getting on their clothes. Uh, speaking of critters, let's talk about them. I've only had one spider experience here. Uh, there's little spiders, little baby spiders, they don't bother me. Listen, I'd rather see a spider than a roach. I'll tell you that again. Oh, I'd rather see a spider roaches. than a roach. I hate roaches. Roaches don't like me. I think Jesus, in his ultimate loving nature and his greatness, he told the devil, I'll let you create one thing. I created everything else. I'm so magnificent. I'm like the man. But you could do one thing, bro. One thing. And then the devil was like, mm, roaches. Um, boom. Roaches. Boom. Roaches. And roaches just don't like... They've been attacking me ever since I was born. Okay. So, little baby spiders that, like, sometimes when I'm on the floor, I'm like, ooh, what's that on me? And, like, I'll, like... And it's a spider. But I'm just like, I thank the Lord it's a spider and not a roach. So, if you really hate spiders... I've only had one real spider incident where it was I like... I haven't really a... seen large spiders. I only had one. And that was a funny story because, like, it was... We have a housemate that we don't really talk to. Oh, I but... thought you were going to say that we don't like. No, no, no. We like her. But we don't, like, t 
talk to her because she um she's like never home. She has like her own friend group, which is fine. Um and she's Indonesian. Uh, so I I feel like maybe she just feels like different. And so she she's always like with the Indonesian community, which is again, whoa, fine. So she like came into my room one day. It was like super late. It was like 1 a.m. And we're like, yeah, well, like what's wrong? And then she's like, I have a spider in my room. She said it like that. <laughs> I have a spider in my room. <laughs> and we were like, oh. So me and Blair, we came out like mommy and daddy of the house, ready to kill this spider. And I killed a teammate. I, it was it, probably me, huh? Well, this spider, I thought it was cool. I was like, yeah, bro, we're just gonna kill this spider. Like, no big deal, right? Uh, then the spider started running towards me, and I ran. I ran, <laughs> and <laughs> I was trying not to yell because it was late, and the rest of my housemates were sleeping already. But I ran into like her closet and i tried to climb her closet because like in in my eyes i was about to die i was like the spider's coming towards me i don't know what's gonna happen to me like tell my family i love them like it's been real here and we finally killed it but i forgot what spider he was we looked him up and it was a huntsman maybe no he was black it was all black oh the red backs or the red bellies I, I, I forgot, but yeah, he was all black. He just looked dangerous. Whoa. But that was my only spider experience. And I still thank God that it was a spider and not a roach. Even though we have a little roach problem here in this house, but they come out like at night when we're sleeping. And me, the American, I like to have like snacks late at night. So I'm like, nope. going downstairs. And then I turn on the light, and then the roaches are like, RUN! And I get grossed out, and I don't eat, and I go back to bed. That's my roach experience. So you never had a spider experience? Nope. No. Oh, well. I've room. never had a spider experience. It's not, like, as serious as people were claiming it to be like my friends and family were like oh my god you're going to australia the land of the spiders oh it's because they're thinking of that one place in melbourne 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 that has the uh these spiders it's called they, like they literally spiders rain down from the sky they're just baby spiders where the hell is that at so that i don't it's go in melbourne. it's in melbourne spiders happens, rain like, down annually. Yes, it's annually. It's like there's spiders everywhere, and their silk. They use their silk to let the wind carry them. They and use so the that's... silk to let the wind carry them. That sounds like some voodoo stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty cool. No. Yeah. So you'll never catch me in Melbourne. Americans Melbourne. practice how to say <laughs> certain things like Newcastle. Uh. I forgot what's the proper way to say the that beach that everyone's gonna go to. Manly. No, the I don't want to say it wrong. It starts with a B. Bondi. Okay, so it's Bondi. Or that's Bondi, the correct. Okay, Bondi. yeah, that's the correct. The correct is Bondi. How did you used to say it? Who I'm kind of concerned now. the hell is ringing my doorbell? Nobody here there. No. It's probably Hold for on. your next door neighbor. It's probably keep your headset on. I want to hear you. Yes, yes, Interact. yes. Hold on. No, because college housing always comes here. So it's... That's what I'm saying. It's probably the neighbor, or like a guest from the neighbor. I don't even want to look. Just I'm scared. Look. I'm scared. Just, just look. But. Is...
Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I thought I was gonna die. Okay. What happened? What was it? <sighs> I'm out of breath. I don't know. Some he gave me a flyer. There's no teammates. I mean enemies. They uh, left. He gave me a flyer and he was just like, uh, "I'm introducing myself to this neighborhood," and I'm like. Hi. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's like a real estate person, so he was asking me if I was looking, if I was renting. I was like, yeah, we're Hillsong College students, so we're <laughs> renting here. And then he was like, oh, and then he said bye. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was the adrenaline of the day. Whew, answering the door. <sighs> Scary. But, so let's end it with like some advice that we could give anyone who's either thinking about coming or they're already um, scheduled to come in January or whatever. Save money. <laughs> Save money. Learn geography. Let me tell you something. As Americans, or maybe I should just speak for myself, geography is not my thing. Um... And people were telling me where they're from, and I have no idea where that's at. <laughs> I was like, if it's not an American, like, thing. Is that an American thing? No, I'm saying, not... like, if it, if it wasn't, like, American, like, you would tell me you're from somewhere, and I'd be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> where is that at? <laughs> like, because there are some people that are from, like, parts of Europe that I promise you I've never never even thought of like what do you mean I can't even tell you right now because I forgot but like <laughs> people that are from like areas that like are not popular like that you would just know because ooh that's like the destination you get me <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just tell me. Like, Guys, look, whatever. Learn geography. Learn where everything is at in the world, okay? You have to know more than just Canada. <laughs> you, you just do if you want to survive. Are you talking here. about like Nelly and Caleb and all them when they say like stuff like Vancouver and you're just No, like, no, no, oh. no, no, no. Like, I'm saying Americans usually just know America and Canada. I'm talking about the Europeans. That's who I'm talking about. They're Europeans start talking about where they're from, and I'm like, dude, that sounds amazing. Where is that? <laughs> I'm just, I've never cared about Europe. It's not, too, it's not too bad. Well, I'm just saying, this is my advice to people. Daniel, know well, your yeah, geography, that's save that's up good. money. If you're American, your money like kind of doubles so <laughs> just... it like it kind of does <laughs> it it's it's already self compensated here anyways yeah things here are very ex like i freak out and then i have to remind myself of the like the difference but it's very similar so just yes but it just seems more expensive because the money is different here like the amount of money i spend for McDonald's meal in America is slightly the same as in Australia, except it's just going to seem conversion. like you spend more. No, 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 no. Like if it, like after I convert from Australian to American, if I buy a meal here and I convert it from Australian to American, the price is similar the state's price except here it's t a little bit more expensive again this is after i convert from australian United you're States such a teacher <laughs> after i convert so you, it doesn't mean that like my money's worth more because the prices are just i know like, i'm they, saying like, though that your money still, is going they to still kind of equate they still equate they equate yes daniel they equate but I'm saying you take one American dollar and it's going to be like 
a dollar and 40 cents an Australian. So like if you save up five grand USD, like it's going to be a, a little bit more an Australian. It's still going to equal like the same, but I'm just saying like your money is going to seem like you have more. But Seattle things seat. are expensive here. Like, I, I remember Nelly posted a video like it was like a strawberries. I think it was like sixteen dollars, and she was like, "What?" <laughs> just like, yeah. Strawberries. yeah, dude. I don't know about you, but where I'm from, like groceries don't go on sale. So when Kohl's, Kohl's is like a grocery store here. When Kohl's does like the quick sales, it blows my mind. Really? Yeah, I don't know. But hey, for my Hispanics, bro, bring seasoning because like they're not fond of the Spanish people over here, man. All they care about is like they think the only Spanish thing in the world is Mexican. Sorry, Daniel. But there's more Hispanics than Mexican. Hispanics. Whatever. There's more. So, the Cuban one. restaurants here is ridiculous. That's not Cuban food. It's practically, like, I don't know. Even know what it, like, I would say that it's more Mexican than Cuban. So, I'm like, you guys should do your research before you call it a Cuban restaurant. But, you know, whatever. So, look. Bring things that you're probably not going to find here. Like, the cereals are different. I'm really missing Fruity Pebbles. They don't sell that here. Don't they have similar? Nope. Nope. There's no Fruity Pebbles here, bro. I'm, like, waiting for my Fruity Pebbles. The milk here tastes different. The cheese here is so different. Cheese is different. The cheese is so different. And the McDonald's here tastes good. You don't feel like you're being poisoned while you're it eating it. It still tastes good in the States. Let me tell you something. In Miami, you don't eat McDonald's if you care about your life, if you care about your health. But here, I'm like, McDonald's, 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 McDonald's. Like, oof, it tastes very good. Um, <laughs> Why do you sound Italian? <laughs> I don't know. I got bored. <laughs> um, I was watch speaking of Italian, I was watching Pinocchio last night till 2 in the morning, so... The last That's... time I saw it was when I was like nine years old. Yeah, I cannot remember the last time I saw that movie. So it makes me want to go see that movie. I saw it. I saw it. And there's a lot of stuff I remember, and I'm like, huh? <gasps> he said that back then. Yeah, so, like, bro. I... So Very there's sus. A lot of scenes that I, there's, there's a lot of scenes that I didn't even remember until I saw them. Like, oh yeah, I forgot there was that scene. But there's a scene where like they take the children, the 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 bad. Boys or the bad misbehaving boys, <laughs> and they take them to Only a boys. place called Pleasure Island. Whoa! And like now, exactly. So now <laughs> I'm like, they said that. What? Oh, and I they look. They kidnapped the boys. They kidnap oh the they boys. They kidnap them. They kidnap boys. Take them to a place called Tre uh, Pleasure Island, and it's literally the weirdest like revelation I had. I was like, this is really weird. Yeah, that's kind of like what's that movie called with Peter Pan? Uh, what's no, it called? That's different though. No, but they're like stealing little boys too, or something with little boys. But it's not forced. You sure? Like Peter Pan was like, oh, I'm gonna, like, let's go on an adventure kind of thing. I don't know. When you really start looking at like, like the things that we used to watch as children, you're like, wow, like you guys were. You guys nasty. You guys are putting that in our heads. Well, it was never in my head, and I never even knew about it. That's why I always like wonder, like, why people get so upset with like kids' movies. They're like, why am I son or daughter watching this? And they're gonna absorb this information because I didn't absorb any of that when I. I guess it's it. because the audacity, like, as a parental, like, thing you want to protect your children and but I never like yeah never they're, they're probably the not they're not gonna absorb it but that's like like come on that's like no I'm trying to think of a good excuse like even if I knew I didn't absorb it 
I'm still gonna want to protect my child from it. Of course, but like... But that's like the mom People and me. Kinda, they just, like being they just like upset, like... Bit. Like just being upset, like how dare you think that it's okay to tell children that, even if they're not gonna get it. Like, that's kind of like taking advantage. They probably Let's... put stuff like that for, for adults to watch with their kids, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so they're like, we'll give something for the adults, too. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, that is very rude. Disney's taking over the world. I still don't have Disney Plus. It's been... Oh my gosh. It's been how many days since Disney Plus I've survived? I am not on the Disney Plus. I am not a victim of Disney Dude, the Plus. the Mandalorian is so good, though. I know, I'm using my I've seen the... Account. I see the memes and like whatever, Baby Yoda's real All cute, bro. Yoda. But like, I'm not a Star Wars girl, so Star Wars I don't even know if I would understand it. Need to buy tickets. Oh yeah, there's a new one coming out, right? Yep. I just I've never seen a Star Wars. I hate to break <laughs> it to you, but okay. Do you have any advice for for these beloved people who are here for Hillsong? Um. May uh, oh, oh, be in community. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, like, cause chapels and the different chapels is like church, but for college students, like during the week. Like, it's not mandatory, so I know there's people who like miss it, but like, don't miss it. It's like community. But even, but even outside of that, like, just hang, like, make friends. Yeah, Daniel's my friend. We're friends. Make friends. We're here. We're playing video games together. Yep. Yeah, so, but make friends. Don't. He's saying I'm not a friend. Skip out on making friends. Yes, and don't general. think... Like, I, I don't know... Like, I have, like, this... I, I'm a type 9, but I promise you, type 4 lingers in me. So I have this thing where I'm like, oh my god, I'm so different. Like, I'm not gonna find anyone who likes the same things as me. Um, that was a lie. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends. A lot of people who like the same things that I like. So, you'll find them. I promise you, you will. Uh, what... The last, the last, 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 last question, I promise. Um, what was your favorite part of this semester? Um, the classes. Okay, that's a good answer. I was going to say the International classes. Chapel. Oh, yeah, that's cool, too. That was really cool. That but was yeah, actually um, really cool. I really liked the... Uh... Like, come prepared wherever you're from. Learning. International Chapel, like, bring your flags, bring everything, because you're not going to find it here. And you want to be extra that day. They should, they should tell people about that before coming to college. I know, they, so... Like, come bringing their stuff. I was lucky enough to already have, like, some American stuff, because, like, American pride, right? Um, but, like, I had friends that they were like, oh my god, I have nothing to wear! So, like, like they... Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Daniel doesn't even wear the color red. Oh my gosh, that. I don't was... like red. It's too. I, other than like as pajamas, because I do. I'm literally wearing a red pajamas. shirt right now. Pajamas. Oh my god. I'm literally wearing a red shirt right now. Oh my god. I just, but I only use it like if it's in the house or if I'm working out. But other than that. I love red. Why? You might look Grinch right there. I love red. Red is my favorite color. It's like bold. It's love, it's the blood of Jesus. It's everything. <laughs> so be prepared for International Chapel. Yep. Um, you're gonna be offended. There's people of different cultures here who don't respect <laughs> the same things I that you that. respect. It's serious. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of cultures, and there's a lot of like, a lot of cultures that are gonna clash, so mm -hmm. you'll offend people. You'll be offended. Just 
Just hold your tongue, hold your... Yep. It's fine. It's okay to be annoyed, just don't act on it and just, like, forget about it. Yep. Just, like, whatever. Yep. It's, the it's, Canadians it's, are okay. sweethearts, bro. I'm just like... America could never. We could never. Yeah. They're so was... sweet. I mean, I'm I don't know what... I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, but I feel like I know <laughs> what you're trying to say. Americans could never, but Canadians are so sweet. It's like beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm choosing not to say anything right now. But no, I'm being I'm being honest though. Like the Canadians here, like the Canadian community. Uh, I go to different community things, uh, not in a weird way. Certain people, like, I heard this guy used to go to the Asian Connects because he was, like, into, like, Asian girls and he wanted to marry one. Like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Is that recently? Oh, uh, that was this semester, yeah. Because uh, someone invited me and I was just like, I'm not Asian, so why would I go? And they were like, yeah, but there's a guy that goes because he literally wants to marry an Asian girl. And I was just like, yeah. Mm. But I do, I love meeting people with different cultures, so I will hang out with um, the Indonesians, the Asians. Why does it, f I'm sorry, I'm like what? butting in to your stuff. No. I looked at the temperature, it says it feels like 93, but it's 89. Because got, the sun here. I got here... over that. No, 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 I, I got, a, it was never like that. Uh, is it humid right now? What are you saying? Uh, because Look, one thing the sun that here... I've noticed about one thing I've noticed about Australia is that like the heat is a different type of heat. Um, yes, it's a dry heat, and it actually feels. So there's been many, many, many instances where, let's say, I'm gonna use Fahrenheit. Um, of course you are. Let's say it's American. 89 degrees outside. Almost half the times that I check the temperature. On my app, it says it's 89, but in the bottom it says, but it feels like 87. Like it feels cooler. You've so never I'm had like, that? It's 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 because back where I'm from, it's never like that ever, ever. Really? Ever, ever. ever. I'm being oh. honest. I'm not, I'm not trying to like. Really? No, and in, in in Miami it is like that. It'll be like, oh, it's 80 uh, degrees, but feels like 87. Okay, first of all, did you hear what I was saying, though? I said... Lower? Half the time... Yeah, lower. It's never mm. been lower where I was from. Like, Ooh, here, it's lower. 80... Like, example, 89. Thank you. It's uh, 89, and then sometimes I'll look at it, and I'll be like, oh, but it feels like 87. Maybe because, like, than... there, here I realize there's more of a, of a wind. Yeah, but, like... Back home where, I, where I'm from, it's like just humid all the time. Every yes, time. in Miami, girl, I cannot straighten my hair because poof, the humidity. Turn into a lion. Turn into an ugly lion. But here, it's more of a dry heat, which is why I say it's a lot like California, to be honest with you. I don't know if you've been to California. North California? Like, here? like California. In terms of like weather, like the type of heat. Well, people keep saying, and they keep telling me, like, yeah, you haven't seen anything yet. Yes, like, because we haven't hotter. experienced summer, and I don't know what I'm going to do about that, because I but love I the know, heat. I don't know what they're saying, though, because... It gets hot. No, hot, it's hot, hot. it's already summer, and I'm like, it's no, not hot. No, but they're saying, like, January summer. Like, in January. Yeah, I keep hearing that, too, and I'm just like, I don't know. It's I don't know. Not... I have a friend here that she... We went to the same church back home, um, and we're, you know, we're from Miami, but she came in January and I came in July, and she was like, Janice, you are not ready for the Australian summer, like, and I was like, bro, we're from Miami, like, it gets hot, and she's like, no, girl, no. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's going to be a different heat, but. We'll just have to see. I mean, Australia suffers. Like, I don't know if I'm just being so dry like. Heat. That's why we have all these fires. It's like California, yeah. the dry heat. 
but I don't know, like, I, it's because I've been to Las Vegas in the mm. desert heat. Mm. Oh, you know what? I have but there's a, there's like missing like ozone layer and, and like things going on over here in Australia. <laughs> I know, it's just... I'm just saying that I've experienced very severe heat from like because my summers yeah have been in like, Texas yeah no South Texas because well yeah, yeah still Texas, Texas in general <laughs> anyways our summers have been like on average average meaning that 90% of the time of the days in summer are always 90, no, 104, 105. Oof. Mm. Uh, when I went to Mexico, ooh, I only, I was in California, so we drove to Mexico, and then we walked the border. Uh, I was wearing, like, little girly shoes, worst mistake of my life. My feet were burning. Like, the sun was so hot that it just, the floor was hot, and then my feet were hot. And it was just a bad experience. <laughs> so, let's see what the weather's yeah, gonna I'm, be I'm, like here. I'm actually, no tomorrow is gonna be my first experience of summer because tomorrow's supposed to be 104. Oh my god! And it keeps switching between 104 and 105. Oh Funny no, thing I'm is that home. the next day it's gonna be 70 as the highs. Yeah, Australia's a little bipolar. Miami's bipolar too, so I'm kind of used to it. I have 18 but kills. I don't know how, but... I have five. That's great. Uh... Yeah. But, I mean, we could continue our conversation, but I'm gonna end the broadcast here. Thank you guys for watching. And if you still have any questions that I guess we did not answer, just go ahead and write it in the comments and then maybe we'll do a part two video with questions that people are asking us who knows who knows do it do it write do it questions. do it well peace out my homies thank you for watching